Hello, my wonderful, amazing artists. It's me, Miss Abby, your art teacher. And today we're getting inspired by ice creams and sorbets and popsicles and all of our favorite sweet summertime treats. And so today we're going to draw a design and do a drawing of our dream sweet cold summer treat, whether you like popsicles or milkshakes, or ice cream cones, or ice cream sundaes. Let's think about that. And today, we're going to think with, we're going to focus on three senses to make this artwork. We're going to think about our sense of taste, and what tastes delicious to us, and what our favorite flavor combinations are. And we're going to think about our favorite, we're going to think about our sense of touch and how ice cream is cold. And also when you reach out and touch a cone of ice cream, how does that feel? And we're also going to think about our sense of sight and what colors things are. Let's get started. Okay, so for this project, we're going to use, I recommend starting with a pencil, but I'm using a marker so that it's easier to see from far away on the computer screen. Let's get started with, I'm gonna do the ice cream cone first, then the popsicle. So the ice cream cone is starting with a triangle. And remember, we talked about the sense of touch and how if you were to reach out and touch an ice cream cone, would it be smooth if we touched an ice cream cone, like, like this plastic cup, or would there be some lumps and some bumps, hmm? Right, yeah, there's lines. If you go to the ice cream shop, you might be able to order a waffle cone or the grocery store, you might pick up a waffle cone and that has texture. It has lines that kind of remind us of waffles. And the way I'm drawing that is I'm doing diagonal lines. Diagonal lines this way and then the opposite direction. And diagonal lines are, so we have horizontal lines, vertical lines, diagonal somewhere in between, like slanty, like a hill that you could slide down, um, or a slide you could slide down, that's diagonal. And I'll, the way I remember, and this is the secret between us, diagonal lines are the power move in connect four and tic-tac-toe if you like playing those games. That's a good way to sneak up on somebody. Anyways, back to ice cream. Next, I'm gonna add a cloudy line. That is ice cream and it's gonna connect the half circle to the cone. And that's my ice cream cone. Now, if you wanted, you could also add some toppings. Maybe some fudge or a little uh, dollop of whipped cream and a cherry on top or some chocolate sprinkles. Doesn't that look fun and special? Because remember, this is a super special, exciting ice cream. There you go. So that's how you do an ice cream. Now I'm going to show you the popsicle. Popsicles are really easy. We're starting with a tall vertical line and then a rainbow or a frown, you know, boop, like that. And then another vertical line that's the same length. Then a little horizontal line. And popsicles come in different shapes and sizes. I'm just thinking about the, the fruit ones in my fridge, but you know. They can also be more kind of like this. I've even seen some shape like Sonic the Hedgehog. Isn't that cool? And then the fun part about drawing ice creams and popsicles is you get to think about, okay, what flavor do I like? What flavor tastes good to me? What combination of flavors? And what color do those flavors look like? 
For example, I want to make a strawberries and chocolate ice cream, kind of inspired by chocolate covered strawberries. So I'm going to grab some pinks, maybe some reds for that one. And then my popsicles. I think I'm going to do lemon and cherry for those because I like popsicles that are a little sour and a little sweet together. But I've never had one. I hope that the, uh, maybe I'll try and find one at the grocery store. But my favorite popsicles, they're um, like lime. So I'm thinking about sweet and sour. And if I were a chef creating an ice cream flavor, what flavor would I make? How would I put together my favorite things that taste really good? And you got to think too, I love I love popcorn, but I don't know if that would be good in ice cream. And I also love broccoli, but I know that wouldn't be good in ice cream. But I like chocolate and strawberries, so I think that would be a good ice cream combination. So we're thinking like a Ben and Jerry's ice cream. Okay, now I'm going to color these in. Okay, so I colored everything in. I got my chocolate strawberry flavor called chocolate covered strawberry, and it's got strawberry chocolate chips and hot fudge on top with a little whipped cream and a strawberry on top. Then we have lemon, lime, and strawberries again. lemon lime and strawberries and watermelon and i think this one's really cute and now you can be done here if you want have a page full of delicious desserts or if you want you can try cutting them out like i'm thinking i'm gonna cut this one out because it's close to the edge of my paper so i'm not wasting a lot of paper and i think this is the perfect size for a bookmark which i think is pretty awesome so remember Two-step cutting is the way we do it here in our class so that we can really get a good cut. So I'm cutting a big bubble around this popsicle. And I'm leaving the rest of this page because this paper is perfectly good. And I can use it to make some mini drawings later. Boop, got this. Now I'm going to cut. Now I'm going to cut very carefully around all the edges and get all this extra space cut off. And I'm going slow. And when I'm and when I'm cutting, I'm looking and focusing at where my scissor is touching the paper. I'm not looking around or having our conversation. If my friend wants to come talk to me, I'm going to say, hey, wait a second, let me finish cutting and then I'll answer your question, okay? Because with great scissors comes great responsibility. We got to be careful with them and if you're not looking at your paper, you might accidentally cut off details like this cool popsicle stick. Ta-da! All cut out. And what's fun about this is that you can actually make kind of a life-sized popsicle, which is fun. Like, oftentimes in art, we're making big things that are kind of smaller, but this is actually life size. This is the actual size of a popsicle that you might go get at the grocery store. And we can use it as a bookmark to hold our place. So for example, maybe I'm reading this book and I get interrupted or, you know, I have to go move on to the next thing in class. I can put this inside, shut the book, put it down, then reopen where my bookmark says and continue reading later. Isn't that neat? Bye. Have fun making art inspired by ice cream and popsicles in our favorite desserts.
Bye.